What up guys, it's your boy Goose! So, in part one of this crazy India story, I explained at the end of it that I was going to break it up into two parts. This is going to be the second part of the India story. So, if you have no idea what's going on, or you just got to this video, I would recommend going to part one, watching that so you have the context to understand the rest of the story. And, uh, here's the rest of the story. So we walk down the block with all of our music gear to FedEx. We pay for more computer time. This is adding to the $40 taxi charge before. It ended up being like 40 bucks of computer time because five of us are using the FedEx computers at the same time. We get to the end of the visa application and it takes a while. They want like tons of information. And oh my gosh, 200 bucks a person. So times that by five, it's gonna cost at least a thousand bucks just for us to get these dang like expedited visas. At that point, Jeff is like holy crap and these new flights he would have to buy out of pocket so it was just like so high pressure and we're running out of time at this point it was about five o'clock and the flight that night was at seven we basically had to decide at five o'clock at night whether we're gonna pull the trigger and buy a thousand bucks worth of expedited visas get back to the embassy of india get the visas processed get our visas take a taxi down freaking rush hour traffic in chicago <laughs> go back to the airport and make it by seven which was like our boarding time. Such a tough call. Jeff called the venue, talked with the woman helping us, and he just had to make a judgment call of like the amount of money this is going to cost for these new flights plus the visas to not even know for sure if we can even make it is too great. So at that point, we're like, holy crap, this is literally not going to happen. We're stranded in Chicago. <laughs> Just like all these thoughts filling your mind in that moment. So at this point, Jeff is a super high integrity guy, wants to make it best with the venue. He calls the venue and they say they're super bummed about the situation. It was just a bummer. It was all literally from this one little mistake that the booker didn't know we needed visas. Oh. The venue proposed that we come the next weekend. So then Jeff is like, okay, I can, I'll check with the guys and the flights and see if we can make that happen. He calls the airport and they said they can do it for a way, way, way cheaper price like saving us thousands of dollars if the same lawnmower if the same five people can come long story short one of the guys in our group would basically lose his job if he were to skip another weekend because he had already blocked off like four days for this india trip we couldn't freaking go so we let down the venue it was a big bummer oh man what a day to add to all this drama i kid you not this day was jeff's 46th birthday <laughs> We, oh, we felt so bad for him. Literally, I don't... And this whole time, I forgot to even mention, from like eight in the morning when we left to like five at night, we had not ate the whole time because we're like rushing and going as fast as we can to try and like honor the venue and the host and make it there as best as we could. At this point, we're like, Frick. Okay, so I wanna give you the entire story and I realized I accidentally left out a very important part that just added irony to the whole freaking thing. I left out the part that at the end of that whole mess, we were still stranded in Chicago. <laughs> Seven at night at this point after all is done. We've made all the calls we can. We haven't ate since literally like 12 hours prior. We had to get a rental car and drive six hours back to Minneapolis through the night. Freaking rough. <laughs> all right, continue story now. The host got back to Jeff and proposed that we come two months later. It was the same deal with the airline <laughs> for some reason. They said they could do the cheap tickets again if the same guys came. Honestly, it like wasn't worth it financially at this point for bringing a whole team of five guys so we decided to actually have two guys in India that would play with us so we just like rehearse with them before and I have a picture from that rehearsal show the picture right here so that rehearsal was awesome meeting those guys but long story short we made it happen it ended up just being Jeff Johnny and I we made it those two months later the show went great roll the clip Julio And it was just such a blast. I still can't believe the whole first thing happened on his birthday and oh my gosh. After the show, it went so well. They had like this huge like party on stage. They brought up a whole choir and they're all like wearing red and stuff. It was super cool. Roll the clip. <laughs> yeah. To top it all off, I got to ride a freaking camel. Roll the clip. Freedom, go. 
that was my trip to India. I must also say India is awesome. It has a very special place in my heart and uh, I want to go back someday really bad. All right, I've got some shout outs to do. Let's do it. These people have been freaking legit and supporting my channel. Okay, first shout out goes to bruh, it's Jason7. The Josh Factor. Crazy, but cool. <laughs> Zombie Blood Gang. <laughs> King Potato. Seven. Sam Appleton. Cucumber Break. That was such a big bite. There's so much food. Reese and Caleb vlogs. Check out their vlogs. They're legit. Z Roberts, or uh, how I like to say, Z Roberts. <laughs> Joe and Vanna's vlog. These people are just so, so nice and pleasant. I came across one of their vlogs and was just like, some people just have a vibe about them. You just feel happy after. So I'm thankful for you guys. Joe and Vanna, keep it up. Check out their vlogs. Golden Gamer MC. Check them out. Last one, Seth Morrison. Keep it real, dude. <laughs> hope you enjoyed my crazy India story. I hope it never happens again, and then happens again, so then that happens, and then we go, to, and then we're just a freaking India. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to the most lit goose you've ever seen. I love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me as I start this channel, and it's been just awesome. I love you guys. I just, I just. So, uh, I guess that's it. Bye, toots. <laughs> All right, but for real, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Leave a comment below on your thoughts or, or uh, leave me a, you know, you could leave me a poem or uh, let's hang out in the comments. Peace, homies. See ya.